everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, then thank you for joining me. If you are an old fan, then I love you. Thank you for coming back to me. Um, so today I'm going to do the get to know me um, tag. I just like, I love watching these kind of videos and getting to know what people are all about. And um, I'm just nosy, basically. And I just love finding shit out about people. So I am going to do that video today and you can get to know me a little bit more. Okay, so question one, what is your middle name? My middle name is Eleanor, spelt with two L's. Um, my mum's best friend's called Eleanor and she and her, I think it was like her dad spelt it wrong or something. He spelt it with two L's. I think that's the story, don't quote me. So my mum and dad called me Eleanor and it's with two L's, um, which I like, it's unique. Um, what is your favourite colour? My favourite colour is teal green. So my daughter, when she was like one and a half, she would say, ask me what my favourite colour was and I'd say to her, it's teal green. And if someone says to her, what's your favourite colour? She's like, teal green. As if like, and people think she's so, like she is smart, but people are like, teal, gr like, teal green? But yeah, I mean, we love teal green. Um, who was your first best friend? Um, growing up, I, rem I didn't live here, so I moved here when I was 12. Um, so I had quite a few best friends, but I always, I don't remember who was the first. I know I had a best friend called Layla and Chloe, and Stevie Jean was my best friend, but she moved away, um, and then I had a best friend called Lisa as well. It was like, it was like where I lived. So I had quite a few friends growing up, and then when I moved here, I only ever had one best friend and we used to spend all of our time together, like every day, all day. She lived like over the road from me as well. Um, sadly, we're not friends anymore, um, but I have like a group of friends now um, that I adore and they, I met those through my partner and I always tease my partner, Dane, and say that like they just prefer me now, but they do. Like I even ask them, I'm like, but you think I'm better? And he's like, they're like, yeah, we do. And I'm like, oh yeah, I love you. So I have four amazing um, girlfriends and then in the same group. And then I have another best friend um, who is not in the group. So it's like a nice mixture. And But she doesn't live anywhere near me. She lives like in Surrey. Um, but yeah, we, I um, have a skincare company as well. And that's how we met. And um, it's a really nice friendship because we're so, she's a lot young, not a lot young, no, not a lot younger than I am. She's 22 and it's like a really nice friendship. And then all my girls here are just the bomb. I never thought I would be one of those girls who has loads of girlfriends um, because I only ever had one girlfriend like growing up. Um, but yeah, they're amazing. Honestly, they're amazing. Um, so how tall are you? I'm 5'9". So I'm quite tall for a girl. Like if I wear heels, I'm like six foot something. I like, so tall. Um, but I love being tall. And um, another thing about me is I'm actually from Holland. My dad's English and my mum's Dutch. Um, and we're all quite tall. So I think that's definitely where I get that from. Cats or dogs? So I have both cats and dog. A cat. I have two cats and I have a dog. Um, I'm definitely more of a cat person. They're just so chilled and laid back and just easy to look after. And then we've got a dog and it life got stressful, life got harder. Um, but I'm very lucky that Dane takes her to work. Um, she is beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it is hot. It's like having another baby that just doesn't understand what you're saying. Um, that, that, the baby, I have two kids, actually, including Dane, three kids, that do not listen to me. I, you know, do everything in this house. Okay, next question. Funniest moment throughout school? God, I don't know. I've had some pretty embarrassing moments. I got caught kissing, um this guy next to, this boy next to me that I really liked in like a sneaky little smooch and the, key, the teacher caught me and like told me off so I was like like literally went bright red so that's probably the most embarrassing um I don't know what the most the funniest moment in school is I don't know I was quite weird at school. not weird but I wasn't I have to have a think about that one I don't know how many countries have you visited? I've visited quite a few countries, like America, most of Europe. Um, I just got back from Turkey. Where else? I've done like Orlando and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I really want to go to like, Miami and LA and stuff. 
Um, where else have I gone? Um, obviously I go back to Holland all the time. Um, I've done like France, Spain, like the standard where you go on holiday with your family, Mallorca, Menorca, all of that. So yeah, but there's a lot of places that I really, really want to go. Um, I'd love to go to Australia. I want to take my daughter there. Um, so yeah, there's lots of places that I still need to go. Um, are you in or have you gone to college? Um, so I went to, I didn't go to college. I think this is like an American version, so maybe it's like uni. I went to, so I did my A-levels, I did my GCSEs on my A-levels and then I went to university to do interior architecture, I dropped out, um, I just hated it, I hated the uni, I hated, I just, I wasn't ready to go back into schooling I think, so I quit, like I was really unhappy, um, I quit and then I, my mum was like, you need to have a good career, you need to do something that, you know, is really going to stabilise you. And So I went and did um, accountancy, thinking that this will make my mum proud. I actually started doing admin work and then I got into accountancy after. And I was like, right, well, I'm going to do something that's really good. And I stayed in accountancy until October just gone. So I had a good run, but I was way too glamorous to be an accountant. Like, not saying it's an unglamorous job, but it just wasn't me, like, anymore. So I then went to, um, I built like my makeup business on the side and so I was really lucky with that. Um, I built that on the side and yeah, here we are. And now I film with YouTube and life is great. Life is so good. Okay, uh, what's your favourite word subject in high school? My favourite subject was probably English and my worst subject was probably maths or what's... Um, yeah, I didn't really like maths, and then I became an accountant. <laughs> what the fuck? But I, school, it wasn't my favourite subject. Um, but I liked, I hated PE as well. I was always like, never good enough to be in the top in the girls. So it was like girls and boys, and then there's like the mixed group. So I was never good enough to be in the girls group. And then um, I was always in the mix, and I always was pissing around. And um, I just wasn't sporty whatsoever, and I'm still not that sporty now. Um, like I don't mind the gym, in fact no, I hate the gym, I hate the gym. So I was always in the mixed group and then I was really good at basketball, not really good but I played well once and my teacher like bugged me and bugged me to go and play basketball and I was like no, no bitch, no, no thank you, no thank you. What is your favourite drink? Um, Prosecco is one, I do love Prosecco, I like um, if there's me, it's human, it's alcoholic, obviously. Um, what's the other one I like? Um, if I go out, it's probably vodka lemonade. Um, and I like amaretto and coke. Mmm, I love that. Mm. What is your favourite animal? Leopard. I think I wear leopard print too much. And I had a leopard print bedroom when I was a kid. So I asked my dad to paint my room. And I had leopard print bed covers, I had leopard print wallpaper, cushions, throws, like, you leopard, you name it, I had it. That was it. I loved it. It was like, if I went back in there now, it would make me throw up. It, well, it's too much. Um, what is your favourite perfume? I just got a new one. Can't remember what it's called, but it's really nice. So, it's like, no. <laughs> you know what, I'll leave it in the description box. Tea or coffee? Definitely, definitely coffee. I can't function without it. What would you or have you named your children? So I, my daughter's called Darcy and I've got a step called daughter called Skye. And if I had another one, if I had another girl, we do have a name. Um, well, we like Alanis. And for a boy, I don't know. Do I want a boy? Maybe, I don't know. I love having girls, although they're hard work. Um, what sports do you play or have you played? None. <laughs> I'm not sporty whatsoever. I just... No, I'm just not sporty. But I will go to the gym if I have to. What is your favourite book? Um, you know what? I don't really read that often. Um, the last book I read was... Um, Jane Austen, I think. But... Yeah, I'm not, I don't really read books, so yeah, let's scratch that one. 
Who are some of your favourite YouTubers? Um, Jamie Genevieve, 100%. Um, Desi Perkins is one of my favourite. Um, who else do I like? Holly Boone, love Holly Boone. Um, they're probably like my top three. Um, I still love Kato Potato and I love Trisha Paytas. Like they're like, Trisha is my guilty pleasure. Not even, I'm not even guilty. I'm not even guilty for watching her, but I have been there like through all the crying on the floor, all the crying on the kitchen floor. Like I'm there girl, I'm through, I'm there in your life. Um, what is your favourite movie? My favourite movie is The Wedding Singer. Adam Sandler does something to me that I can't explain. Like, I love him in every movie. I think he's so good looking. Like, he is sexy. I'm sorry, but he is. And if anyone tries to take him, I will beat you down. He is, mm, I love him. Are you single or taken? I am single, no taken. <laughs> I am engaged. I get married next year. He is very, very lucky, very lucky man. What's your idea of a first date? I don't think me and Dane had a first date, really. I don't think we went out for, we just hung out like at his house a lot. So if we were to redo it, I just, I love Oxford. So probably a walk around Oxford, get some dinner um, and then some like, you know, some drinks, go to like a cocktail bar. I just like to go somewhere that's pretty and you can go for a walk, get dressed up, go for a walk. Um, so yeah, Oxford would be, would be my number one place to go on a date. Like I love Oxford so much. Um, how many girlfriends, boyfriends have you had? Um, not that many. I had a boyfriend for eight years um, before I met Dane and we are still really, really good friends. And before then, like a handful, I think. So not that many boyfriends. Um, but I haven't really been single for like a long time. Cause I met, I met Dane like right at the end of my relationship with Alex. So yeah, that went, I went from like one to the other, one to the other. But, so yeah, I've never really been single for that long, but that's, you know, that's fine. He's, he's, um, he's amazing. Um, favorite memory from childhood? Um, probably memories with my granddad, um, which are very, very limited. And my nan and my auntie, rate like I used to stay a lot at theirs. And I remember there was always lots of people about and it was always kind of, we didn't have a lot, my mum and dad. Um, but I just remember it would always be, it, I, I had such a loving family. Like I just remember always be feeling so loved. Um, and I still obviously have that now, but I just remember living at home still when it was always just so loving. And then I turned into a teenager and I was a bitch. So yeah, I, I apologize to my mum now. I love you and I'm sorry for being so horrible. But I was a horrible teenager. I was a really good child and then a horrible teenager. So I really hope, I'd, I bet my mum inside is like, yeah, I hope you get the same with your kid. Um, my kid's like that now. She's horrible sometimes. Um, do you speak any different languages and how well? I can understand Dutch and I can speak a, like to a certain extent. I just don't like speaking it. Um, yeah, so someone says to me, oh, tell me a bit. I'm like, no, no. But yeah, I can, um, I can understand more than I can speak. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a brother and he is 19. And then my sister is, shit, how old is my sister? I have a half sister. 30, 33, 30. Some, anyway, sorry Jen, but she's in the thirties. How would you describe your fashion sense? Non-existent. I'm not that good at fashion. Like I try, but sometimes I think I try, like I am no Sophia and Chintzia. Like that is just not me. I wish I was like that. And I'm hoping that one day I will become more fashionable. But right now I have lots of different styles and that's me. But yeah, I hope to become more fashionable because I'm not that fashionable now. What is your favourite restaurant? My favourite restaurant is The Quad in Oxford. It is beautiful. Um, they do really, really good food. Um, they, and then, so I used to go with my ex-boyfriend. Um, we used to go to The Quad and then go to Brown's in Oxford for, for dessert. And I love both of those. 
Um, another one, um, favourite restaurant, my favourite place. So I have a favourite place as well, which is Wallingford, which is also near Oxford. Um, it's so beautiful. I really wanted to get married there, but um, yeah, it didn't work out in the end. So, but yeah, it is very beautiful. They have like a river and you can go down the river and have food and like swim in the river, take the dogs. It's beautiful. Um, what are some of your favourite TV shows? Obviously Love Island is back. I am very excited for that. We're like three days in and I already don't like Hayley. Sorry girl, but you showing your two colours a little bit too quickly. Um, what else do I like? I don't really watch TV that much. I do like Keeping Up With The Kardashians. I do like Botched. Basically any kind of reality TV that my partner fucking hates is what I like. So, And I also like um box sets and stuff so we're kind of box setty people rather than tv people pc or a mac i have a mac now um i did have a um i was using my brother's mac to edit my videos and then my part um i don't want to say partner dane bought me a mac as a surprise and i cried and um he basically said you cried more now than when i gave you your engagement ring but it's just like I couldn't believe someone had spent that much money on me like I've never had it's like 900 pounds like this is insane um what phone do you have I am an iPhone girl iPhone 7 plus 6 plus I don't know one of them um tell us one of your bad habits I leave the hoover out I wouldn't find this a bad habit but Dane thinks it's a bad habit. So basically, I hoover all the time. I like to be really, really tidy and really clean. And he is very untidy. It's not, he's clean. <laughs> he's clean, but he's untidy. Like, he'll take his socks off while he's laying on the sofa and just leave him on the sofa. Like, who does that? So I leave the hoover out, because I'll hoover and then just leave it. And then like a couple of hours later, I'll hoover again. So what's the point of putting it away when I know I'm gonna get it out again? I just don't see the sense in that, but I wouldn't say that's a bad habit. He would think that that's a bad habit. I also sometimes leave the toothpaste off. These are all things that he doesn't like about me. I don't have any bad habits in my sense. No. No, I don't have any bad habits in my sense. But he thinks I leave the t like I leave the cap of the toothpaste off. So now I buy the ones that have like the attached cap. To um, so yeah, I can't do that anymore. And I leave the Hoover out. Oh, hello, cat. So they're probably my bad habits. Um, but I don't think they're that bad. So that is the end of all the questions. Um, I hope you kind of got to know me a little bit better. There are some kind of random ones in there. Um, but let me know um, what video you would like to see next. And I'm thinking of doing My Boyfriend Does My Makeup. And I always, always keep badgering him and he won't do it. Um, but come on, you need to vote in the bottom. Um, or give this video a like if you want him to do my makeup. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next video and I love you all so much.